please remain standing as we welcome Jeremiah Jackson, who will lead us in the Pledge of Allegiance. Everyone, please stand. Everyone, please stand. Everyone, please turn facing the flag. Please place your right hand over your heart. Let's begin. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God indivisible with liberty and justice for all. Please remain standing for the national anthem. Thank you. Graduates, you may now be seated. Good morning, and welcome to all of you. My name is Sylvia Whitson. I am the proud principal of John Finney High School. It is a pleasure to welcome all of you, all of the family members, friends, teachers, and most of all, our graduates, to the commencement exercise for the John Finney High School Class of 2023. We are joined today by a host of dignitaries who represent John Finney High School, uh, as well as the Vallejo City School. Uh, Vallejo City Unified School District. I am especially pleased to welcome several, several of our school board members, President Gardner, Vice President Dr. Young, Trustee Flores, City uh, Supervisor Mr. Shimon Walton, 
We're also joined today by, of course, our Superintendent Spalding, also our Director of Student Services, Dr. Kelly, uh, also our Principal, Scott Bushnell, and a host of teachers and staff that stand in support of you today. But some of our most esteemed guests are sitting in the audience today. All of the aunts, aunts, where are you at? Uncles, the cousins, the brothers, the sisters, the grandparents, of course, that have offered words of support and encouragement throughout these four years. These parents sitting in the crowd filled with pride, fighting back tears. Parents, where are you? Whatever role you've played, know that these graduates are seated here today because of your support and guidance. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Next, we will have Vice Principal Scott Bushnell introduce our salutatorian and valedictorian. Mr. Bushnell. Good morning. It is my pleasure to introduce to you at this time the 22-23 John Finney High School salutatorian, Mr. Jordan Kahili Polk. Jordan is a longtime VCUSD student who attended Highlands and Stephen Manor Elementaries, Hogan Middle, and Vallejo High School. Since enrolling at John Finney, Jordan has worked hard and was able to graduate early. He's been working full-time since late April and is establishing himself in the workforce as a dependable, hard-working young man. His plans include being an entrepreneur and seeing where the future leads him. It is my honor to introduce Mr. Jordan Kahili Polk, the John Finney High School Salutatorian. To begin, I don't even know how I got the title salutatorian, but that doesn't mean I'm any less honored to receive the title today. I mean, it's just funny to me though. Through me grinding through schoolwork, it was never my goal to make it this far. I just wanted to hurry up and graduate so I could go back to working full time and make my money. It was never my intention to reach this, but here I am, and as middle school as this may be compared to any of the other hardships I have no choice but to endure in my life, I revel in this moment. School was never in my interest to keep it a buck with y'all, but I took it as a lesson. It doesn't matter if you do or don't want to do something, it is your responsibility to get up and get it done. It is your responsibility to wake up and make it happen. I wanted to straight up just get out of school to get up and go back to work full time again, as much as I may have procrastinated, as much as my parents were on me about school, as much as I just did not care at the time, I knew that this was something I needed to make happen. Of course you can procrastinate. Of course you can put something off for as long as you want. I mean, it's your life after all, right? But would you be happy knowing that you're complacent? Learning to bite the bullet and get whatever it is over with that's going on will get you places. Don't think about how hard it is. Don't think about how much you don't want to do it. Don't even think about starting. This is a universal rule I've taught myself in life. And to me personally has proven to get me through anything and everything I have faced in my life thus far. I never wait for things to happen for me. I'll make it happen, solo or not. Embrace your ambitions, conquer your goals, and be the best you can be. Mold yourself into the best you will be, because at the end of the day, you're all you've got. Thinking, thinking like this, I know it's gonna get me places I want to be in my life. And I truly hope that you all took a little something from what I just said. But whether you do or you do not, is not my choice to make. To my friends, colleagues, and everyone pushing me to do better, there is no word I could use to fully encapsulate how much I love and appreciate y'all. I know I won't see most of the people I've met in school again in my life, or me, like maybe even the next, but best of luck to all of you, and never, ever settle for complacency with yourself. 
You know you deserve more. Ahui ho. It is my pleasure at this time to introduce to you the 22-23 John Finney High School valedictorian, Brianna Seha Ortiz. <laughs> Brianna is also a longtime VCUSD student who attended Loma Vista Element or El Environmental Academy through eighth grade. She was also a Vallejo High School student until enrolling at John Finney. Brianna was also able to push herself to graduate early, and she has been enrolled in the Clinical Medical Assistant Program and plans to pursue a nursing career. Brianna wants to recognize all of her family members who have supported her through her journey, as well as the staff of John Finney High School. It is my honor to present to you the John Finney High School class of 22-23 valedictorian Brianna Guadalupe Ceja Ortiz. Good morning, parents, friends, teachers, administrators, and of course, the graduating class of 2023. My name is Brianna Seha Ortiz. My fellow classmates, we have become John Finney graduates. I would love to congratulate everybody, including myself, for working hard these past four years knowing we had to endure an unfortunate event. But we officially made it to today's celebration of being the class of 2023. It's crazy how after 12 years, some of us find have finally completed high school. Some of us are continuing their education at four-year colleges and universities, while others are entering their careers. It is scary entering adulthood and starting a new chapter, no matter what we are feeling. Nervousness, anxiety, and fear. We leave this school knowing that John Finney High School has been preparing us for this very moment. Everything we have gone through these past four years has been preparing us for a successful future. John Finney High School was a, was a second chance for many of us. High school can be overwhelming. Sometimes you can fall so far behind it feels like you'll never catch up. Things come up in life that feel impossible to overcome. Working a lot of hours, family strategies, and sickness during COVID are some of what the class 2023 had to overcome. We did it. This was possible with the support of the family as well as John Finney staff and teachers. I want to shout out Ms. Goot for helping and leading the way to early graduation for me and for helping me start by my nursing career by pushing me to apply to the clinical to medical assistant program. I'm on my way. All of the late nights spent on Mr. Barrio's learning projects and Mr. Quillen's and Ms. Philly's essays were preparing us for universities and careers. Our counselor, Ms. Barbosa, guided us through the tough decisions. Our principal, Ms. Whitson, drops everything when she's doing what she is doing when we come to her door. Thank you to the, all the staff and teachers. We would have not made it without the, without family support. My grandfather, Fredo Seha, is sitting in the stands. He drove me to school every day, no matter how busy he was. All of my cousins pushed me not to give up and always do my best. My mother, Lourdes Seja, has been with me every step of the way. Thank you to all the parents and family members in the stand today that encouraged us and gave us advice even when we did not want to hear it. Thank you, thank you, thank you. To my fellow classmates, this is an amazing day that will always be remembered. Leave here proud of yourself, your peers, and your community. We did it. Congratulations, class of 2023. Thank you to our valedictorian, Brianna Seha, and our salutatorian, Jordan Polk. Next, we will hear remarks from our superintendent, Superintendent Spaulding. Thank you, Principal Winston. Happy graduation 
to this amazing class of 2023. Congratulations. My name is William Spaulding, and I'm the proud superintendent of the Vallejo City Unified School District. And I couldn't be prouder than I am today to be with this incredible group of soon-to-be graduates and with all of you. I've been thinking a lot about what words I want to leave you with, and I wanted to share some brief thoughts with you. Graduates, look around you. Look to your left. Look to your right. Now wave. Look up in the stands to family, friends, and loved ones. Wave. Wave back. Graduates, these are your people. These are the important people in your lives. These are the people who helped you get here. Look at these staff members and teachers back here. These people also helped you get here. I'm not saying you didn't work hard. I'm not saying this is not your accomplishment or that you shouldn't be proud of yourselves. What I am saying is that as important and enormous as this achievement is, and graduation is a huge achievement and milestone, you didn't get here all by yourself. Someone in your life, maybe many people in your life, were there for you. They cheered you on. They supported you. They rooted for you. They fought for you. They stood by you. They may even have argued with you or chewed you out or fussed at you a little bit to help it create a better version of you. No one got here alone. Moms, dads, stepmoms, stepdads, aunties, uncles, grandmas, grandpas, big sisters, big brothers, cousins, neighbors, best friends, mentors, coaches, teachers, staff, administrators, pastors. Someone played a role in your life that helped you to this field and to this stage today. These are your people. You leaned on them. Continue to lean on them and be there for them as well. Remember who your people are. And here's a secret. In this life, every accomplishment, every achievement, every challenge that you overcome, and every success that you have will be due, at least in part, to your people. You will meet new people who will also become your new people. Choose your people carefully and cultivate those relationships. Reciprocate. Be there for them every bit as much as they are there for you. Appreciate them. Learn from them. Grow from them. Travel this life with your people, and you will be blessed indeed. One more thing. Recognize these items. This Chromebook was your classroom for a while, just a couple of years ago. And this cell phone is probably in your hands all day, every day. Am I right? Remember that these are just machines. They are tools. They are not your people, and they are not your life. Use them appropriately and carefully, but put them down to be with your people. Don't let the machines run your lives. There's a lot of talk lately about artificial intelligence, virtual meetings, and deep fakes. Artificial intelligence is just that, artificial. Artificial, virtual, and fake are the opposite of real. Here with you today are real people with real intelligence and real love and real support and real commitment. There's nothing artificial or virtual about what we are doing or what you're experiencing right now. No machine can take the place of your people. Nothing that you can pour into a microchip or teach a machine to learn can replace real people, real support, and real relationships. Machines don't have heart, and machines don't have soul. Only people have that. We grow more, we learn more, and we achieve more when we are in communion 
with one another. We learned that the hard way during the pandemic. A big part of learning is becoming part of a learning community. A laptop or a cell phone is a poor substitute for a classroom, a workspace, or real life. Choose real and choose people. I guarantee you, you won't regret it. Thank you, class of 2023, in advance for the incredible and positive impact you will make on all of our lives in the future. Thank you very much. Thank you, Superintendent Spaulding, for those heartfelt words. So, San Francisco City Supervisor Shaman Walton will be delivering our commencement address. Supervisor Walton, let me just tell you a little bit about Supervisor Walton. He was born in San Francisco and lived in public housing at an early age in the Bayview and Portrero Hill area. He then moved to Vallejo with his mother in the sixth grade, and this is where he would attend junior high school and high school, Vallejo High School, as a matter of fact. Mr. Walton went on to become the president of the San Francisco School Board of Education, where he worked to protect, protect undocumented students. He decreased student, excuse me, teacher turnover and increase the graduation, graduation rate across the district for students of color. In addition, he served as the executive director at the Young Community Developers. It was there he worked vigorously to build close relationships with labor to provide job, career, and career opportunities for residents and bring affordable housing to the district. As a member of the San Francisco Board of Supervisors, Mr. Walton works tirelessly to represent the interests of citizens of his district and all of San Francisco. We can also add published author to the list of his accomplishments. This February, he released a book titled From Juvenile Hall to City Hall, your resume can change. Won't he do it? I know he has a story to tell. We are excited to present Supervisor Shimon Walton. Thank you, Principal Whitson. Good morning. Good morning. Now we can do much better than that. We yell for our favorite football teams. We yell for our favorite basketball teams. Let's yell today for our young people of the class of 2023, John Finney High School. So, first of all, it's just a pleasure to be here standing on the football field of my alma mater, Vallejo High School where I graduated the class of bloom. Um, but there's so much I wanna say to all of you young people today. You know, I, I wish I could tell you that life has always been great. I wish I could tell you that some of us here were not team parents. I wish I could tell you that some of us here didn't go from one high school to another and not be at a traditional high school. I wish I could tell you that some of us here may not have been incarcerated or had to endure an experience where they were locked up. And notice how I keep saying us, because I have been in that situation. I've been a team parent. I've been expelled from Vallejo City Unified School District. I've been incarcerated in Juvenile Hall several different times. But by the grace of God, because of mentorship, because of friends and family, 
had an opportunity to prove and demonstrate that your resume can change. And I know everyone here has the same focus. After graduating from high school, which is the focus I still have every day, and that's to go get that bag. Am I right? How many of you want to get that bag? So, with that said, there are some things that you need to do to put yourself in a position to be able to go get that bag. First and foremost, you must use all obstacles, all negativity, all of the things people say about you, use that as fuel for success. When people criticize you, when people have something bad to say about you, if you use that as fuel, you will never, ever run out of energy. Because people are going to criticize you today, and people are going to criticize you in the future. But use that to make sure you put yourself in the position to prove everyone wrong. When I was your age, there were juvenile hall counselors, educators, unfortunately the adults that should have been trying to reinforce positive outcomes for me that told me I wouldn't amount to anything. And that was the beginning of giving me the fuel to make better decisions. So when somebody tells you you can't do something, or when somebody tells you that you won't be anything, make sure you reverse that and use that as the very energy to prove them wrong. Second, and you'll start learning this more even starting today, is that your education, your knowledge, the diploma that you're about to receive can never be taken away from you. Information, knowledge, and the education that you receive can never be taken away from you. So make sure that you understand that and know that. People can take away your boyfriend or your girlfriend. They could take away your car. <coughs> they could take away your possessions. But that knowledge and information that you gain on a day-to-day -day basis through this process to get here to where you're going to walk across the stage cannot be taken away from you. Third, and you really need to remember this as you carry yourself on the day to day. Most of the decisions that get made about you will be made when you are not in the room. Whether or not somebody decides to look at your res resume and interview you for a job, whether or not somebody decides to hire you, whether or not somebody thinks you're cute or thinks you're somebody they want to spend time with, those decisions are going to be made when you are not even in the room. So make sure you carry yourselves in a manner, in a way, to where you understand that people are always looking at you. That means the things you do on social media. That means the texts you send out to people. That means the way you carry yourself when you're out in community. Because people will determine what they think you should be and what they think you should do when you are not even in the room. And the last thing I want to tell you that will help you get that bag and help you get to where you lead is that you must always have a plan. Now, you may not know exactly what you want to do today, but I can tell you, if you don't map out goals and you don't map out strategies and put things in front of you to achieve every single day, life will be harder and you will go in circles. So make sure 
that you set goals for yourself. Make sure that you understand what steps you need to take to achieve what you would like. That means networking and talking to people who've had the experiences that you want to have. That means listening to others. But that definitely means putting things in writing, sitting down, and making sure that you have a plan. Now, I'm going to leave you with two quotes. The first one is, if you don't have big dreams and big goals, you will always end up working for somebody who does. So make sure you're not scared to dream. Make sure you're not scared to fail, because that's a part of achieving your dreams. You're going to fail at some things. You're going to make mistakes. I know firsthand what failure looks like. I have served as the president of the San Francisco Board of Education. I've served as the president of the San Francisco Board of Supervisors, but I lost my very first election for the Board of Education. But through that experience, I learned so much and eventually went on to get elected and serve as the president of that body and the president of the Board of Supervisors. So do not be scared to dream. Do not be scared to fail. Do not be scared to have big goals. Secondly, never be content with average because it's just as close to the bottom as it is to the top. And to put that in further perspective, a C is just as close to an F as it is to what? To an A. So make sure you do everything you can in life to strive to do the best. We're not just talking about grades. We're talking about when you set your mind to something, you make sure you take the time to do it well and do it in a manner that puts you above the rest and separates you. I'm going to end with this brief story. It's a story of two gentlemen who took the time to run around a lake. And they were both running around the lake trying to get to the finish line. And when they got halfway around the lake, one of those young men got tired and decided that they wanted to give up and go back to where they started from. Now, what's ignorant about that? It's the same distance for that man to go back to the starting line than it would take for them to finish the race. Make sure, class of 2023, that you do everything in your power to motivate yourself to achieve your goals and make sure you finish the race. Congratulations, class of 2023. Thank you for a few moments of your time. Thank you, Supervisor Walton, for those words of wisdom. Finish the race. Finish the race. Wonderful. Now it is the time you have all been waiting for, our presentation of diplomas. Our first rose will rise. Is it on? Okay. 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 Okay.
like that. Right? Yeah. Okay, so good? Yes, ma'am. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know until I try it. How's that? Okay. Right, but not me, her. Okay? Okay. Stay with the right. Hold your thing. I'm going first? Okay, my mic's not on. Oh. <laughs> Brianna Seha Ortiz. Jordan Kahili Polk. Kino Abad. Hang on. Wait. Miguel Miranda. Kevin Aguilar Salinas. Shakori Mitchell. Eric Aguirre. Malvin Morete. Jimmy Mendieta Alvarado. Maya Mesqueda. Sean Anderson. Juan Gonzalez Naranjo. Daniel Andrade Pastrano. Joshua Navarro. Kanea Anthony. Rochelle Ordonez. Juan Ariano. Stephanie Cervantes Osornio. David Brinkley. Hang on, hang on. Brian Baltazar Para. Go. Jaylen Cabrera. Jasmine. Perez. Azaria Calvin. Kaya Pettis. Markel Cannon. Yeah. Horatio. Plancarte Garcia. Kevin Martinez Cardenas. Sanea Price Horton. Brian Seha Ortiz. Vicente Ramirez. Sergio Chavez Mendoza. Anai Rangel. Ashane Crawford. Patrick Noriega. All right, sorry. <laughs> Daisha Dow. Dominic Johnson. Andrea De La Torre Romo.
Jesus Rangel. Karen De La Cruz. Angelina Reed. Isaac Diaz. Charlene Renderos. Demarie Dorton. Adelina Reyes. Nayeli Espinosa. Ulysses Gutierrez Romero. Malaysia Duncan. Alexandra Ruiz. Just first and last, right? Destiny Fields. Grant Sagum. Anthony Figueroa. Brittany Sandoval. Tavita Finau. Alyssa Santos. Nicholas Fox. Jamil Sawyer. Luis Gahon. Hugo Suarez Lozano. Demaya Galloway. Joe Tatiaki. Victor Garcia Garcia. <laughs> Ryan Tilson. Eliza. Puente Garcia. Amy Gonzalez Torres. Tashanti Gordon. Andrea Trujillo Montez. Natalie Guerrero Ponce. Amon Turner. Joanna Gutierrez Villa. Rogers and the third. Rodolfo Hernandez. Nueva. Miguel Hernandez Leon.
Shadia Wade. <laughs> Fernando Hernandez Torres. Isaj Thompson Washington. Isage. Jeremiah Jackson. Antonio Williams Jr. Talia Lane. Talia Creighton. Tyler Liano. Ari Young. Alan Lujano. De'Aaron Jackson. Alexandra Martinez. Benjamin Martinez. Linzel Martinez Amoroso. Antonio Matthews. Adrian Baez Mauricio. Jayla Ray McGarry. And Jose Mendoza. Graduates, please stand. We will have Vallejo City Unified School District School Board President Christy Gardner come to deliver the acceptance and confirmation. Ms. Gardner. Thank you. By the power vested in me by the state of California and the Vallejo City Unified School District, I declare and certify that these students before us have successfully completed all of their requirements for graduation from the Vallejo City Unified School District. Congratulations, class of 2023. Graduates, you may turn your tassels from the right to the left. Ladies and gentlemen, the class of 2023.